how to replace slinky foil. First, you'll grab your 8 foot section of code compliant flexible transition. For this situation, we're going to cut it directly in half by poking it with our needle nose pliers, and then using the edge of it to cut the little wire off from in between. Next, we're going to extend the venting as far as we'll need and massage out the ends of it so it fits over the vent on the edge of the dryer and going into the wall. You'll see it rips right there. This material rips pretty easily, so we do want to be careful with it and put a piece of tape over the edge of it. Otherwise, when tightening the clamp, you'll typically get a couple holes in it, so this will kind of help seal that off and prevent it from ripping or having any air leaks. As you can see, this is a gas dryer, so we do not want to take the chance of leaking carbon monoxide. Next, you'll attach your flexible clamp tool to your drill and tighten your clamp a little bit so you can slide it right over the end of the dryer flex, and then we will go ahead, put it on the back of the dryer, and tighten it with the clamp. You'll see right here, the flexibility of this tool makes it very easy to get it as tight as we need to the end of the dryer. You could give it a couple pulls, it's not going to be going anywhere. And then we just rinse and repeat. We'll do that to put it against the wall, and there you go. Perfectly installed dryer flex.